assalamu alaikum dear students hope you all are fine welcome to all of you in our fourth video lecture of mathematics uh, before starting our lecture let's revise our previous lecture yesterday we discussed about properties of real numbers let's recall it first okay the very first property which we discussed yesterday was um, closure property closure property states that this closure property with respect to addition right okay this property states that the sum of two real numbers is again a real number for example 1 plus 2 equals to 3 1 and 2 itself are real numbers and 3 which is its sum is also a real number then we discussed about the associative property with respect to addition which states that a plus b plus c equals to a plus b plus c for example 2 plus 3 plus 4 equals to 2 plus 3 plus 4 taking left hand side first 2 plus as it is the sum of 3 and 4 7 now 2 plus 4 9 now right hand side 2 plus 3 5 plus 4 which is again equals to 9 9 equals to 9 which is true then we discussed about the commutative property with respect to addition and its general form is a plus b equals to b plus a for example, 1 plus 2 equals to 2 plus a in both cases. 3 equals to 3, which is true. Then, distributive property of multiplication over addition states that a into b plus c equals to ab plus ac, right? Like 1 into 2 plus 3 equals to 1 into 2 plus 1 into 3. 1 into 2 plus 3, 5 and 1 fives are 5. 2 ones are 2 and 3 ones are 3. 2 plus 3 again equals to 5. Then the additive identity. The additive identity is, yes, the additive identity is 0. Right? And the multiplicative identity is the multi. Multiplicative, the multiplicative identity is 1, definitely. Okay, now come to exercise 2.2. Now come to exercise 2.2. See question number 1 here. In question number one, we are given, name the properties used in the following equations. Number one, one plus four plus three equals to one plus four plus three. Associative property with respect to addition is used here, right? Okay, number two, five into a plus b, five into a plus b equals to five a plus five b distributive property of multiplication over addition right number three a plus zero equals to zero plus a equals to a additive identity right number four five into one by five equals to one by five into five equals to one multiplicative inverse okay write the missing numbers 2 plus dash plus 4 equals to 2 plus 6 plus 4. What is missing here? 6, definitely. Okay, then 7 plus 4 plus 2 equals to 13. So, 7 plus 4 plus 2 will, all will, will also be equals to 13, right? 9 into 3 into 4 equals to 108. So, 9 into 3 into 4 equals to 108 again. 5 into 8 into 9 equals to 5 into dash into 9, obviously 8, right? 
Okay, see question number three here. Choose the correct option. Number one, eight into six into seven. Eight into six into seven is equals to option D. That is eight into six into seven, right? Which one of the following illustrates the associative law of addition? That is option B. 3 plus 2 plus 4 equals to 3 plus 2 plus 4. Number 3. Which one of the following illustrates the associative law of multiplication? That is option C. 4 into 3 into 6 equals to 4 into 3 into 6. Okay, these questions will remain in book. Okay, now come to exercise 2.3. Before starting exercise 2.3, uh, see this uh, general form of anath root of A. Anath root of A. Here, what radical, radicant, and index we have to identify it right. First of all, radical. This symbol is known as a radical symbol, right? The value inside the radical is known as radicant, that is A right and n is known as index n is known as index of the radical right and it is read as anath root of a anath root of a n is known as the index okay now come to exercise 2.3 and see the very first question of it. Question number one. Write down the index and radicand for each of the following expression. Number one, square root of 11 by y. Square root of 11 by y. Okay, we have to identify index and radicant here. Okay, the index of the root is 2 because it's a square root and the radicant is 11 by y. Right? Now in part 2, we are given cube root of 13 by 3x. Cube root of 13 by 3x, right? So, here the index is 3 and the radicant is, the radicant is 13 by 3x. Clear? Okay. Now, question number 2. Question number two, transform the radical forms into exponential form. Do it, do not simplify. Transform the radical forms into exponential form and do not simplify. Just we have to convert the radical form into exponential form. Exponential form is very clear from its name exponents, right? Which means power. First one is square root of 36. The square root of 36. Let's solve it first. The square root of 36. Okay. The value of square root is 1 by 2. Which is the required exponential form. Which is required exponential form form right okay then see part 4 
एनथ रूट ऑफ क्यू इन पार्ट फोर वी आर गिवन एनथ रूट ऑफ क्यू राइट एन एन एथ रूट सो इट्स एक्सपोनेंशियल फॉर्म विल बी एक्सपोनेंशियल फॉर्म equals to q as it is and power will be 1 by n right hope you all are clear about the topic okay now the next question the next question is transform the following exponential form transform the following exponential form of expression into radical form now we are given the exponential form and we have to convert into radical form which is the inverse of question number 2 so here we will convert the exponential forms into the radical form right the very first question is minus 7 power 1 by 3 okay the denominator shows the index in easy word the denominator shows the index but see clearly this power is not a whole power it's the power of 7 only it's not for minus right so radical form equals to minus sign outside of the radical and cube root of 7 cube root of 7 is the correct answer okay now in second question we are given x power minus 3 by 2 x power minus 3 by 2 right x power minus 3 by 2 <coughs> Okay, now the denominator shows the index, right? And it's and this minus three is the power of x, exponent of x, right? So now first of all, x minus three into one by two, because three ones are three, we can get it back, right? So x power minus three into one by two. Now instead of one by two, we will this is the exponential form we will convert into radical form that is square root of x power minus 3 square root of x power minus 3 right okay in part 3 we are given minus 8 whole power 1 by 5 now this power is for minus as well right so converting into the radical form fifth root fifth root of minus 8 fifth root of minus 8 the denominator always shows the index of the radical hope you all are clear about today's topic um do all the question of exercise 2.3 in your notebook neat and tidy thank you